Hi guys, it's Christina from Redefine Creative and I am back with a project for the Pattern Happy Design Team. And so I am going to be working in my Traveler's Notebook today and I have grabbed a bunch of pattern paper from Pattern Happy as well as the Best Bots stamps and dies as well as the Nuts and Bolts stamp. And so what I wanted to do today was create a Traveler's Notebook spread um, of my two boys. So I have two 3 by 4 photos. And this is like we were doing a family craft night and they created some robots. And so when I got this stamp set, I knew that this was absolutely perfect uh, to go with those pictures. It isn't a big enough story that I felt like I needed an entire layout, um, but I absolutely could have. And if that's your thing, you absolutely could have turned this into an entire layout rather than just a traveler's notebook spread. Um, so what I'm doing, and I apologize for it being a little bit off camera here, guys, is I'm taking black ink and I am stamping these robots from the stamp set. And there are seven different ones into the spaces of this kind of geometric paper. And then I went ahead and used the dies to cut them out. So then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and take this nuts and bolts stamp and my same black ink pad and I'm going to stamp it in kind of a diagonal pattern from the top left to the bottom right corners because I know that I want to layer up a bunch of those gorgeous pattern papers behind my photo. And so I want this detail to go from corner to corner and kind of show behind all of that detail. And so I've just started stamping and kind of nestling the stamp in together to make my own pattern. And I'm definitely having it go off the edges of the page. And I'm doing that on purpose because I want it to kind of look like all of these nuts and bolts have just kind of got thrown on the page. And so they're extending off the edges on both sides. And I really like the look that that creates. Um, right now I'm just using, this is Jet Black ink and it's dye ink from Alta New. And I feel like this particular ink is giving me really crisp images with these stamps. And so, you know, depending on what kind of ink you're using, I do feel like these stamps have a really, really great crisp edge, which is amazing. So now what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to back my photos with this black piece of cardstock. And I want just a thin, thin, thin border of black. And I'm not going to have a border between the two photos because I'm going to use that line between the two photos as the seam in my traveler's notebook. So I already know that it's going to get cut in half later once I have all of my layers. And so then once I had that, I decided that each of these pattern papers also needed a little black border. So I'm going to go ahead and cut them into different size strips. And I'm not measuring anything. I'm just randomly cutting strips out of each one of those pattern papers because they're going to get layered up kind of like in a zigzag form behind my photo. So it's going to be like it's one big, huge photo mat that sits behind my photos. And so what I'm going to go ahead and do here is just pull out my pattern paper from Pattern Happy and grab a couple more pieces because I felt like I needed some additional mats back there. And I had thought about pulling out some of these patterns that have multiple colors, but then I decided to stick with just single color pages. So I went through that pattern paper that I have and just pulled out ones that are a single color and ones that matched the colors in all of those little robots that I had created. And so I'm going to cut those into strips as well. And then I'm going to take and back each one of those with black cardstock. And that's really going to make them kind of pop up off the page. And then I also have that multicolored star pattern paper as well. You can kind of see it sitting off to the left. And I'm going to use that here in a second as well. So what I am doing with all these maps, now that I have them the way that I want them, rather than messing them all up and trying to glue them together in the same fashion, I'm just going to use some tape. And so I grabbed some tape and taped them all together so that they will stay exactly where I want them to stay. And then I'm going to do just a tiny, tiny border of that white um, pattern paper with the stars on it. And it's not going to be enough that you can tell it's stars, but it is enough that you get all of the color variations that are going to match all the colors in this paper. So even though you can't tell it's stars, it is a really, it's a neat little detail to add that just shows you took some extra time and thought into what you were creating. So then I'm going to go ahead and slice this whole thing in half. And then my paper trimmer doesn't do that completely, so I am going to go back and use some scissors to go ahead and cut all of those. And so I have them now in my traveler's notebook 
and I'm going to take all of my little robots and I'm going to put half of them on dimensional adhesive and half of them I'm going to glue straight down onto my photo mats. And so they're going to run the entire length of my two photos. And I love, love, love this little detail. So these are such fun little robots and they fit perfectly and all the colors match perfectly because everything came kind of together from Pattern Happy. And I love that about buying able, being able to buy things from one particular company like this because then everything matches perfectly. I did go back and grab some puffy letters from Bella Boulevard and added Robo Build at the top and that's going to serve as my title. And that's going to do it for this Traveler's Notebook spread. So I hope you will stop by and check out Pattern Happy. These little robots are absolutely adorable. And you could use them on so many different types of product projects, not just for robot pictures, but anything with little kids and little boys especially. And I'll see you soon. Bye, guys.